Well, Tunisia head coach Jalal Kadri has named his squad that will play in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers doubleheader against Libya. The Carthage Eagles will host their North African rivals next Friday at the Rad Stadium in Tunis before traveling to Benghazi for the reverse fixture on the 28th of this month. The 2023 Afghan finals were moved to January next year. TDTN's Adnan Shuashi has the details. The Tunisian Football Federation has extended Jalal Qadri's contract until the end of Afghan 2023 finals in January next year. Qadri has been criticized for maintaining the same squad that played at the last FIFA World Cup in Qatar in his team for the forthcoming third and fourth legs of the qualifiers against Libya. Yann Valéry, who plays as a right-back for Ligue 1, Club Angers in France, and midfielder Shaim al who plays for Lyon B, are the new faces in his last team. Keeping the same 18 players from the World Cup squad and adding just some members is an important achievement. It's a sign of maturity and continuity in the national team. The players know each other very well and can perform better at the Africa Cup of Nations. The head coach added that the Carthage Eagles need to win the North African Derby at home and in Benghazi to guarantee their place in the next phase of the qualifiers. He is banking on the fact that most of his players have been enjoying regular game time at their clubs to see them through. The two matches are very important. We know the Libyan squad very well. It's a good team and a challenging opponent. We are expecting a tough time. Tunisia's advantage is that most of our players are active and playing regularly in their clubs. We are ready, but we also remain cautious against Libya. We need to secure qualifications to the next AFCON. Pundits are also wary of the threat posed by Libya, since most of their squad play for Tunisian teams. The upcoming matches against Libya won't be easy because they are familiar with the Tunisian football. Tunisia's coach has made the right choice by keeping an experienced squad. He cannot risk losing the games at home or in Libya. The Carthage Eagles secured a 4-0 win over Equatorial Guinea and 0-0 draw with Botswana to top their qualification group after the opening two rounds. The Carthage Eagles are now focused on the 2023 AFCON, which will kick off in early 2024 in Côte d'Ivoire. It will be Tunisia's 21st appearance in the Africa Cup of Nations tournament. The North Africans are one-time winners of the Continental Cup in 2004. Adin Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.